welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. I'm a social media and marketing coach as well as Notion expert and I have ADHD, all the things. So before I get started on today's video, which today's video is gonna be all about 35 different ways that you can use Notion. These are ideas that I've had, templates I've used, literally all of these ideas I've either looked at or tried. I do have a few announcements. Number one, we have a Facebook group. I mentioned this last video, but also we're gonna be doing our first ever live workshop. So if you wanna join that, it's gonna be on how to do task management and to-do lists for ADHD within Notion. So make sure to go to the link in our bio to join the group. It's gonna be happening on January 18th. And if you're watching this after then, you can go in and watch the replay. Otherwise you can see it live 2 p.m. Central and on the 18th of January, 2022. All right, second announcement. Last week, I launched my very first Notion one-on-one -on -one consulting program called Streamline in a Snap. It's a 30-day program. You work one-on-one -on -one with me to get your systems in shape. So I will actually work with you, create your system based off of you know what you need, and that's gonna be super fun. I'm so excited about that. Also, number three, I'm doing Ship 30 for 30, which is a 30-day writing program on Twitter. Some of you guys are on it as well. So if you wanna go follow me on Twitter and read some of my Notion Atomic essays, let me know. If you like them, they're gonna be posted on uh, at Jen Redfield on Twitter. So let's get started with the video. All right, let's start with number one. The thing that we talked about and probably the most people use it for is task management and to-do lists. Now there are other apps like Todoist and you know people use all sorts of things, but I like that there is options within Notion to make to-do lists and then it can funnel into things like your projects or your content creation. So having a master list of things that you need to do on Notion is so important. Filtered views, checklists, there's so many great options that you can do on Notion with that. Number two, meetings. I actually just found out that you can sync with Google Calendar to see what meetings you have coming up. So I have a whole board just for meetings that are happening on my Google Calendar so I can see up ahead, oh, what meetings do I have this week? All right, the next one, this is one that I feel like is kind of, people are wanting to manage their money on Notion. I think it's a little bit complicated depending on how many transactions you have, but it is good if you maybe want to start a budget tracker or maybe you're in business and you want to track sales. I would say that there are probably other better softwares out there like QuickBooks or other things that you can track your money. But if you're just trying to track maybe expenses or things that you're buying, it might be a great way to use Notion. All right, number four, brand assets. This is a huge one. I love to have all my brand assets inside of Notion. So this includes any logos that I have, headshots, fonts, brand colors, and icons. I have these all in a folder called brand assets that really just shows all of those things so that I have them ready to go if I need them. Okay. This is a big one that I'm eventually gonna have a template for and that's a business proposal. I started using this with uh, some of my clients and I'm like, this is the best way to do a business proposal is to use it on Notion. They get their own page, it's custom to them, they can find all the information out and then I link over to my invoicing software um, on my sales funnel. So that's something that I've started using. Eventually I'm going to create a template that uses business proposals so that's something I'm really excited about. Okay, so this is if you're looking for a job, number six, resumes or CVs. You can actually send people to maybe a personal website or something, maybe portfolio. Having it as like a resume or CV is a great way to find a job. And people will be able to click things and it's definitely a great way to present yourself. All right, so the next one is client portals. So this is different than a business proposal. This is for your current clients, a way to store any of your documentation, whether that's uh, contracts. You can also store things like the Zoom calls that you've done together, any of your transcriptions of those Zoom calls. You can share all the things that they need in their client portal and they can have access to it because you're going to give them the link that you could even add them as someone that can edit the page so they can have access as well. So I'm definitely also going to come out with a client portal template eventually along with the business proposal because I haven't seen a ton of them. All right, a CRM. If you don't know what a CRM is, it's a client relationship manager. This is basically like a pipeline for all of your leads and clients to see where they are in the process. You can make this using the Kanban board option within Notion, and it's a great way to manage your current clients. All right, SOPs. This is standard operating procedures and workflows. I've seen these in a couple of templates. Basically, it's how your business runs. So the uh, processes that you do, basically the step-by-step -step instructions that you need for your business, you can have them all in one place if you're using this company-wide. Okay, this is a big one, online directory. I actually have an online directory with Notion. I've recently switched to an app called Popsy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with it because they're 
it's a, it's a little sketch. Um, but basically I really like the look of it, but unfortunately like the links aren't working very well. So we'll see if I stick with it. I may eventually move to super, uh, which is $12 a month. This one is free, but basically an online directory allows you to basically use your database as again, an online directory. I publish it to the web. It has a domain and people can find it and, and get information almost more like a, again, like a database than a, blog or something. So I use it as a directory. People can actually pay to be part of it. It's a local directory that I have. And so people can pay to be part of that. And I'm trying to find the best solution. Okay. So going along with that, you can also make an entire website with Notion using things like Super or Potion. There's all these different ones that you can use as well as making it into an online course with different apps as well. I have a whole list of apps that work with Notion in my Notion resources link. So you can get that below as well, but there's so many different ways you can use Notion. You guys, you can make websites on a Notion. It's crazy. Okay. So this is a big one and I've done quite a few videos on that. That's content creation planning. So I'm actually gonna be working a lot with clients on this, which is the content creation process. So that's coming up with blog content, writing content, social media content, YouTube, podcasts, whatever you're making, planning that and having it go out onto social from Notion. I actually tweeted for the first time from Notion. Might do a whole video on that. Let me know if you guys wanna see it. All right, so that's business. I wanted to move now into things that you can use at home uh, for your everyday life. So let's get started. So the first one is chores. You can have your chore list, especially if you maybe have roommates or have a family. What day are people doing things? Who's assigned to what task? That kind of stuff. This would have been so helpful when I had a roommate. Okay, this is a big one and one that I'm also gonna come out with a template on and that's habits or daily tracking. Tracking the things that you're doing every day that are incrementally helping your life. I actually have an entire template just of rolled up data of everything that I've been doing from different databases. And I'm definitely gonna make a template on that because it's like literally game changing for me. Okay, so the next one is fitness and workouts. I love tracking um, where I'm at with my fitness. I definitely track a lot of things like my weight, my uh, how much steps I'm getting. These are all things that I like to track every single day. And I use apps like my Apple Watch and my Smart Scale, and I'm able to type those in using different apps. Again, that's gonna be part of my fitness video when I do that eventually. <laughs> Um, again, all these are like coming in, this, in the future, but I'm not there yet, but I just kind of wanted to run through this list. Okay, the next one is goal setting. So if you follow August Bradley, he talks a lot about goals, uh, goal outcomes, and then value goals. So I would definitely recommend watching his videos on goal setting, they're really good. Uh, I like to have my goals in there. I also have just like long-term things that I'd like to accomplish in my lifetime. And it's great for just knowing the things that you wanna do in your life. Okay, this is one I did a whole video on and I actually have a template for, and that is your home assets and inventory. These are things that you physically own in your house. I'm actually uh, selling a lot of my products and I made a virtual garage sale using some of the products I took photos of. So that's another great way to use it is anything that you own. I literally have taken photos of everything that I own and I can categorize it. I can be like, okay, well, where is that thing? Home inventory is great. Okay, I'm not much of a traveler. I haven't traveled in a while, but I know a lot of people travel and there's a lot of great travel templates to plan your trips. And I've seen girls plan like bachelorette parties, their weddings. I mean, there's literally so many things you can plan when you use Notion. Okay, so this one is great if you're trying to figure out how many subscriptions or purchases that you have. So if you have like a recurring, say Netflix, for example, that's a great thing to start tracking um, and seeing what what you have as a subscription. Home projects and moving. If you're doing a home renovation, maybe you're moving, how you track all of that. You know, if you're looking for apartments like I am right now, what, what apartments have you looked at? It's just a way to have, again, images, pictures, do documents, data about each place. Okay, this is a big one and one that I spent a lot of time figuring out and that is meals and recipes as well as grocery items. So. I have two separate databases, one for meals and recipes and one for grocery items, and then I create relations between them. Marie Poulin also has a really great uh, meal planning template. I use that most of the time. I've kind of tweaked it for myself, but if you wanna get started, look at Marie Poulin's, she has a great one. All right, then I also have one. So I have two databases for contacts. <laughs> one I call famous people and the other one I call contacts. So contacts are people I actually know, business acquaintances, people that I wanna connect with, maybe on Twitter. And then there is the famous people. These 
these are authors, actors, uh, Instagrammers, YouTubers, TikTokers. I just have that list of people. If I'm ever, somebody ever asks me like, oh, do you know someone that does this thing on social? I have a list. Okay, journaling. I have a daily journal that I use that also tracks like my emotions, things I'm grateful for. And I have now set all of that into my daily roll up. So that's something that I will also be sharing with you guys, but there's a ton of journaling out there. Literally, that's like one of the main thing people use Notion for is journaling. And the next one, which is studying, I don't actually, uh, I'm not in college, I don't take any classes right now, but I did put some of my online courses in here, which has been helpful, as well as book notes. So that moves me into the very final part, which is what I call the brain, a lot of people call a second brain. Basically, this is databases of information. So this is information or lists or things that you've looked at that you want to store the information. And that's what I think separates Notion from a lot of the other project management tools is they aren't really built for that. Notion is really built as a personal knowledge manager as well, which is basically all the information and things. So I personally love that part of Notion and I'm very geeky about it. And if you go through my brain, you'll be like, oh my gosh, my brain on Notion, not in my actual, eh, my actual brain might be kind of crazy too. Um, but when it comes to the second brain, I did a whole video on this as well. Um, but some of the things that I track are books I'm reading. Um, I put my book notes in there. I did a whole TikTok on how I do my book notes. Uh, movies I'm watching, movies I've seen, TV shows, podcasts. Another thing I also put in there is any PDFs. If you've ever gone to somebody's website and they have like a free guide, it's PDF, that's where I store all of them is now within Notion. So I can quickly find them. Uh, YouTube videos or YouTube channels that I watch, uh, you know, Twitter accounts, TikTok accounts. I like to track these things and be like, okay, well, who do I recommend? I actually just made a top 100 list of 2021. So that's also going to be in my Notion links. Uh, I think it's down below somewhere in, in my links, but my top 100 list, it was great by having the brain. I was able to quickly highlight people that I liked this past year. And it was my top 100 of 10 different categories. So those are 35 things that I recommend for Notion. I will try to link as many templates as I can below, but if you're new to Notion and you're like, I don't even know what to use Notion for, these are the things that I found that are really helpful. There's so many others. These are just 35. I'm sure there's over 100 plus things that you can do on Notion, but these are the ones I personally found for myself have been helpful. And let me know in the comments what you use it for. I'm sure probably some of these were covered and you might have some more extras. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check out all my links below. Follow me on Twitter. Again, I'm like really active on there lately and I'd love some more followers. So join the Facebook group, come to our class on 18th and I'll talk to you soon.